Good morning, frogs. How are you all doing? We're doing really well here at the Toodle House. Everybody is healthy and we're still very happy. We're having a good time at home. I hope all of you guys are having a lot of fun and everyone in your family is still healthy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start our morning with... Ashley, can you find Mr. Hoppity? Mm -hmm. Find Mr. Hoppity for us. Mr. Hoppity. Can I have Mr. Hoppity? Thank you very much. Nice job, Ashley. Ooh. All right. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear frogs. Good morning to you. All right, frogs, let's go ahead and start on our day. Ashley, are you ready to help us with the calendar? Yes. Frogs, are you ready for the calendar? All right, Ashley, why don't you go ahead and tell the frogs what month it is? March. March, very nice. Frogs, what month is it? Mm -hmm. March, nice job. Ashley, can you go ahead and say the days of the week? Hold on one second. Frogs, make sure you're saying the days of the week with Ashley, please. Here we go, are you ready, Ashley? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And Ashley, can you tell our frogs what today is? Today is Friday. It's Friday, very nice, thank you very much. And frogs, are you ready to count the days of the month with Ashley? Ashley, are you ready to count the days of the month? Uno. We'll one, do it in English today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Very nice. And Ashley, can you tell everybody what today is? March 27. Thank you very much. Today's March 27th. I see you over there yawning a lot. Do we need to do some movement before we sit down to do our work? Yes. But before we do our work and movement, don't we need to do the weather? Yes. All right, so why don't you take a look out our window? And why don't you tell our frogs what you see on our window for today's weather. What do you see, Ash? It's sunny. It's a sunny day. And what do you think our temperature is? Warm. You think it's going to be a warm day? I think you're right. I think it's going to be sunny and warm today. Let me see if I can find warm. There we go. So, Ashley, what season is it? And spring. And what's today's weather? It's sunny and warm. Very nice. Thank you very much. All right, Ashley, are you ready to do some movement? Because you are still yawning. We got to get that blood moving back to your brain, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and stand up. Make sure, are you supposed to be how much distance? Arms distance from your partner, right? Okay. okay. So we're gonna start to warm up. I'm gonna take my slippers off so I don't slip, okay? We're gonna start with our, can you do a surfboard for me? So it's one foot front, one foot back. Okay, now make sure this front knee is bent, right? Now ride that wave, ride that wave. There you go, good job. Are you getting some movement and stretching? Yes. Good job, okay, feet back together. Now put your left foot front and your right foot back. Okay, now ride that wave again. Ride that wave. Nice job. Are you getting some stretching in those legs? Yes. And you're surfing on the waves? Or is it really, is it a gentle wave or are you really bouncing around with the waves? Bouncing around. Bouncing around. Okay, feet back together. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's practice our jumping jacks. Do you think jumping jacks are a pattern, Ashley? Yes. So what do you think the pattern is? Open, close. All right, are you ready to do it together? Yes. Let's do it, let's do the pattern, let's say 10 times. Dylan, can you count for us? Okay, ready? 
Open, close, 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 open, close. Did we do it ten times, Dylan? He says we did. All right, so are you are you warmed up now, Ashley? Are you still yawning or has the blood started to move to your brain? The blood started to my brain. Okay, good job. So we got our blood moving to our brain. Frogs, today is a handwriting lesson. So parents, we are doing page 89 and 90. But before we do our handwriting lesson, let's review a couple letter sounds. Okay, you ready, Ashley? Ashley, you ready for me to help me? Yeah. Okay, so what's our first one? Fox. F. Nice job, thank you very much. Jar. J. J. Okay, so we're gonna go with box on this one, okay? You ready, Ashley? Box. X. And what letter is it? X. Nice job. All right, frogs, make sure you're reviewing our letters and sounds at home. So our letter F. Letter J, no. J, and letter X. What's X again, Ashley? X. Nice job. All right, let's go on to our handwriting lesson. Okay. Now we're gonna give you. Now today is just a review day for our letters. These are all letters that we have already practiced this year. So they should just be a review to you guys. Most important thing, always remember frogs, we're using our holding hand and we always start on the dot. So I've got my holding hand, I'm starting on the dot with my lowercase f, and I'm following it to the red line, and I'm going across. Starting on the f, the dot for our lowercase f, go down to the red line, go across. Now this is a lowercase i, so I'm going to start on the red dot, go down to the red line, and make that dot. Lowercase f, lowercase i, and lowercase t. So Ashley, if the f and i say f, and you add a t, what word do we have? Fit. Fit. Nice job. Now our lowercase j, start on the dot, Lowercase j lives in the basement. It's one of the few letters that lives down in the basement past the red line. And you finish it with your dot. Start on your red dot, go down into the basement, and finish your j. Don't forget that dot. Now we've got a lowercase e. Lowercase e, start on that red dot, go around like you're making a c, and finish it by closing. Here's our lowercase j again. Finish our J, our lowercase e, and our lowercase t. Now, Ashley, if J and E say J, and you add the T, and you get jet, what word do you get? J. Jet. Now, we're going to look at our two words here, fit and jet. So we're gonna draw a line between the word jet and fit. Is Ashley, is that a picture of a jet? No. Is that a picture of the jet? Yes. So we're going to draw a line between it and jet. And here is our word fit. Are they fitting shoes on her, this little girl? Yes. So we're going to draw a line to the little girl. There we go. Now we're going to flip to our other side. This is our letter X. X is two simple lines. Lowercase x only lives in our downstairs. Uppercase x lives in the upstairs and the downstairs. Remember your holding hand frogs? Draw, start on the red dot, make your line, make your second line. Start on the red dot, make your line, make your second line. Start on the red dot, make your line, make your second line. Now we're gonna practice one more time. So remember, our lowercase x lives in our downstairs. So we're gonna start at our dotted line, go down to the red line, that's our first line. Then we're going to go back to the dotted line and go down to the red line to make our second line. Uppercase X. 
start in the red dot, make your line, first line, make your second line. Start in the red dot, make your line, make your second line. Start in the red dot, make your line, make your second line. We're gonna make one more X. We're gonna start here on our blue line and go down to our red line, go back up to our blue line and make a second line down. Remember, our lowercase x does not live in our basement. Here's just two more x's we're gonna practice. We're gonna make our uppercase x and our lowercase x. But then we need to follow this dotted line into the fox's den. So there we go, there's our dotted line into the den. That was our handwriting lesson for today. Ashley is going to go over our craft today, our Becca craft. So parents, today's Becca craft is um, our project number 29, the blue flying bird that's in your packets. This is a cutting exercise. This one here, parents, you're probably going to need to help them cut this to insert the wings. But for now, we're gonna have Ashley start going ahead and doing the cutting. But Ashley, let's talk, remember frogs, hands are down, your thumb should be on top, in the little hole, and your large fingers are on the bottom in the um, big holes. All right, so there you go, Ashley. Go ahead and cut out our bird and wings. So you're gonna cut around the bird on the black line. Nice cutting, Ashley. She's taking her time, staying on the black line. Very nice, Ashley, good job. Good cutting. All right, now before we cut out the wings, two things, parents fro and frogs, you're going to cut around the wings. It should only be one piece. Do not cut on these dotted lines. So cut around in one piece. And parents, I'll show you how you cut this blue line. Ashley, go ahead and start cutting the wings. You're just gonna kind of fold it in half a little bit. You make a little snip right here. That will give you an opening. Go ahead and keep cutting, Ash. To cut this open just in case you don't have a craft knife. And then you cut along that line. And then when Ashley's done and is cutting out her wings, it'll allow us to insert the wings in so that our bird can fly. Nice cutting, Ashley. Good job, okay? And then you take your wings and you slide them into that slit. And if you made the slit big enough, which I didn't, you'll have to go back in and maybe test it a little bit. Hold on one second, Ashley, I didn't make it big enough for you. Let me see. Okay, let's see if we can get them in. You don't wanna make it too big, then the wings fall out. So it's just, there's just a perfect little, there we go. Now they may fit. Oh, still not fitting. All right, hold oh, on. No. It's fine, we just have to make this just a smidge bigger, Ash. That's all. And then we'll be able to slide your wings in. See? That time mommy got it. 
and then you've made your bird. All right, excellent. What do you think, Ashley? Did you do a good job? Yes. You did a great job. All right, Frost. Ashley, are you ready to close with today's song and dance? Five little monkey. All right, well, come on over here. Let's do it. All right, are you ready? Five little monkeys. Okay, make sure you have lots of room, and I have lots of room, so we don't bump into each other, right? Okay, you ready, Ashley? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys now? Four. Four, four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys now? Three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys now? Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Is that how many monkeys are left? One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, good job. Is that the mama? Is mommy now crazy because all of our monkeys fell off the bed? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Good job, Ashley. Good job. All right, frogs. That was our Friday lesson. We will see you next week on Monday with a craft. Bye. Ashley, you going to say bye? Bye.